G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? So remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you. But check out your other placements, if that's the case, or my playlists. And see if something resonates to your current timeline. Cross watches. This could be you. This could be someone else. So keep that in mind. <sighs> Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, views, everything. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and, of course, the decks that I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I use them. All right, let's go, Saggy. Message for you, Sagittarius. Is, ooh, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, something going on with the finances, Sagittarius. <laughs> um... Yeah, maybe just have a look at your finances. Are you focused on work and not on love at the moment? That could be the thing that I'm getting that strongly from this, that you're just focused on work. You're not focused on love. What do we got here? Make the effort. <laughs> oh, there you go. A great love is worth taking the steps you've got to take. There you go. Spirits backing me up, all the cards, whatever, angels. Whoever fooled out that, flip that card. <laughs> yeah, you're focused on work. You need to make the effort to focus on love. If you want great love, it's worth taking the steps you've got to take. So, yeah, I know you're focused on work, but you've got to take some steps to bring in that love. Yeah, express your love. Give a relationship a chance. Hmm... All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Three cards, please. What can you tell us? The love energy coming towards Sagittarius. That one flew away. Come back here, little monster. <laughs> well, not monster, but... Okay. Two, three, okay. All right, we have, oh, retreat. <laughs> Tried to retreat and flew off over there. It's time to disconnect from the world. Ooh, okay. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. They might want to retreat with you somewhere. And engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, so they want a commitment with you. Might not be an engagement. Well, that's a bit fast. Could just be they want to be your partner. Like, be exclusive. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, so they might have some sort of addictions or a codependent situation here. Ooh, they're in separation from you. Hmm, they're just focusing on work too at the moment. Possibly healing some family issues. Hmm, focusing on work. Well, they're separated from you. I think, um, yeah, well, that addiction to work isn't helping the separation, is it? That they might have to, that could be their codependency, they're depending on that money coming in well we'll find out anyway we'll see what's at the bottom of this one when we finish the reading these cards might make a bit more sense all right let's have a look so I just have to flick my hands I'm feeling a bit bleh. message for you is four of cups see Look at the opportunities that you're missing. You're missing opportunities here because you're not making an effort. You're too busy focusing on work, aren't you, Sagittarius? <laughs> you're missing these opportunities. You're missing out on love. 
because you're focusing on work. Mm. Mm. Your cards don't want to shuffle. There we go, that's better. Okay. Tell me about retreat for this love energy coming in towards Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a jumper and we got two flippers. Okay, we have, ooh, the Five of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Unknown card. This is an extra card in this deck. So, they might have retreated because they feel conflicted about you. They don't know if you want commitment or not. They don't know. It's all unknown. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so you're scaring them off, Saji. Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment. You are what they wish for. Um, they're having to fill their own cups at the moment, which is good. It's good to have your own cups filled. Two Nine of Cups people coming together at ten will make a Ten of Cups work. Uh, yeah, they're, um, they're feeling pretty good, but, yeah, they're conflicted about what you want. But, you know, they're fine on their own. They just don't know what you want. Knight of Wands, um, Aries Leo Sag energy, Sagittarius energy. Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Wow. So they want to come in with some passionate action here, but they feel like that maybe it's not worth it. You're just going to sabotage it. Have it. Will they just get stabbed in the back because you're not interested? That's why they're holding back and thinking about moving on. Saji, you're going to miss an opportunity here. Get out of that work headspace. Make the effort. <laughs> it said make the effort. Love is... Great loves have got to take the steps. They're, re they're retreated at the moment. Thinking about walking away. Tell me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Wow, it's come out again. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, and that Five of Swords. So they want to have a heart to heart because they're stuck up in their head. They don't know where this is going. They're feeling stuck. They don't know what's going on with you. They would do want to heal things with you, have things peaceful and calm. And but there's sabotage here, self sabotage. Worried it's going to be sabotaged. Worry it's going to be at a cost. What cost is it going to be at? This heart to heart conversation. They want to tell you how they feel. This is what they want to tell you. That they're feeling trapped and stuck. They don't know where this is going. They can't stop thinking about it. They just want peace of mind here about what's going on between you two. Is this, are they wasting their time is what I'm hearing. The star. You are their wish fulfillment and they do want things healed between you two. They want it to go somewhere. If not, they're pouring out these cups. Pouring their love, their emotions back into the river. And they're pouring their emotions back onto that ground, stable ground. They're trying to dip their toe in the water here and see what's going on with you. Instinctively, they're trying to work this out and make that judgment call. Will this be a passionate new beginning for you two, or is this just a burden to you? They don't know. It's that unknown card. That's why they retreated. Oh, Sagittarius, you're going to miss out on something good here if you don't lift your head up from that work that you're focused on. 
I know the times are crazy at this moment, you know, on planet Earth. But there's a ten of cups waiting for you, though. Happy ever after. That's what they want with you. They want that ten of cups with you. Two of cups as well. That flipped as that just flipped as well. They want that. They want it. They love you. They want you. They want this to be something with you. Okay. Tell me about engagement for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Stable, grounded, loving. Queens are all the queens are loving. And she's Earth, so this is stability. And the married woman, the married queen. They want commitment here. Stable, grounded, loving commitment. Wow, Saji. Page of Cups. They want to send you that message of love. Wow. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, yeah. They want to send you that message of love. They want to be your man or they want to be your woman. Under that we have death, which with that codependency at the bottoms, I mean, they're willing to transform and end whatever this addiction is, whatever it is. They could be very much addicted to you. Um, but they're worried that they're going to have to end this feelings they have for you, this new beginning. Is it going to transform into the Two of Cups, the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups? Look at that. They want it to transform into this. Seeing eye to eye emotionally, having this passionate beginning with you and it ending with a happily ever after. Will they have to let all that go or will this transform into that? What was under that codependency? The separation, see, I think it's, the, yeah, they're going nuts in separation from you. Because you're often just focused on work. They could have family issues with that. Um, no, I don't. Yeah. Could have an issue with you being, well, they probably do. You're not even looking at love. You, are you ignoring this person? Are you in separation from them because of your work and you're ignoring them? Mm. What's going on here, Sagittarius? All right, message for you is the garden and the gate. And this is, yeah, it's a beautiful garden. It's wonderful here. But what's outside that gate? Don't lock yourself away inside just doing your gardening. There's stuff outside there for you, outside that gate. You might be in your comfort zone here, but you need to step out of that. Because there's love out there for you, this love. They were probably waiting outside the gate, but now they've retreated and gone off because they don't. you've never come out of the gate. You're too busy working. Hmm. You might have a contract of some sort that you're dealing with, but and you're all tied up there. Yeah. It's fair enough, but you've got to balance things. You're all tied up with work, but you're going to miss out on this love if you don't step out of that gate. I know you've got a deadline, I know you, whatever it is that you're working on, there's a contract and you're all tied up in that, but it takes five seconds to door to value. See, yeah, you're working on, you're working, you're working on your own value, working on money. <laughs> okay.
you're working on money. You need to let this person know that, that you, you know, you, you're dealing with finance stuff at the moment. Let them know whether they should wait or not, whether you are interested at all. Because at the moment, they don't know. All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Um, well, we know what's holding them back from approaching you because I was going to ask what's holding them back from approaching you, but you are. All right, let's find out. What else can you tell us about them? Oh, my God. We got the cards. All right, we've got victory. Is that contract? What's holding them back? I ask that that's normally what comes out here. And all tied up again. So, yeah, this is what's holding them back. This is what's stopping them from approaching. It's you. You're looking for that victory. You've got this contract and you're all tied up in it. Bottom of the deck, attachment. Codependency, attachment. Temple path, hostilities, cornucopia. And this could be someone that you're with. Um, yeah, they see the abundance at the end of the line, but there's hostilities between you two at the moment. They are trying to keep the faith, but... They've got an attachment to you, a codependency to you. They're dependent on you. But they are trying to keep the faith here. But there is still an attachment between you two. Taking off a mask here. It's causing fights. This abundance that you're... Are they... Is it the other... I mean, it could be the other way around too. Could be the other way around. But, you know, this could be the financial issues that you see is that they're working all the time. And they're all, all about, well, they've got to make this money. You don't have time for you. Maybe it's that way. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Bottom of the deck is, yeah, it's the Ace of Pentacles. Now, didn't want to come over. Yeah, Nine of Wands, because that would have been the bottom. I wanted to come over, though. Um, yeah, guarded about this stable new beginning. It's about the coin. See, you're about the coin. You just want, yeah... It's going to become a burden soon, but this is like the Wounded Warrior going to try one more time for that coin. What's under that? Yeah, you want to charge forward triumphantly, but like this is doing your head in. It's possibly doing their head in. You're feeling stuck, maybe? What's going on, Sagittarius? One of you is working too much. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your card. Get in your element. Get confident. Um, feel sexy. <laughs> um, take action. Go after what you want. Don't forget the passion in your life, I'm hearing. Don't forget about passion. Your fire. Your passion. Don't forget about this person. Either the cross watcher has to stop working so much and pick up that phone, or you do. Alright, tell me about victory for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Okay. We have, oh, move them over here, they're in the, in the way. We've got the Hierophant. The Two of Cups, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Turn this up. Oh, sorry. 
the Princess of Cups or Page of Cups. Again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Wow. This is what they want with this victory. Victory is the commitment of love to each other. This love that they are overflowing with, the best love in the deck. Queens are all loving and she's a queen of love. The messages of love. This cup overflowing with you. And the passion, bringing the passion, passion back in this commitment. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this is a victory. This is what they want. Commitment, love, 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 passion. Oh, Sagittarius, what are you doing? This is what they want with you. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles. But they feel single. Stable, grounded, independent, good house, good clothes, nice garden, pet falcon. Doing awesome. But they're single. This is the thing. They feel alone. That's what the victory is to them. To have this love with you. Not the money. They can make the money on their own. That's the victory on their own. But the victory, the real victory to them is having all that love. The wheel's got to turn on this. They're trying to manifest it. Make that judgment call for you to come back together. And they've thought, thought, thought long and hard about it. Look for our major arcana here. They've done that soul searching here. They do want this to come back together. They're trying to manifest you in and get that wheel to turn. Lovers, got the lovers flipping out here. It's your choice. I mean, you both got a choice here, but you are soulmates. Soulmates, it's divinely guided. Okay, tell me about contract for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. spot so we've got soulmates the lovers and we've got the high priestess and then we've got oh the tower shoot wow so yeah <sighs> there's a soul contract here between you two could whether it's a written contract of commitment or it's something else um, the contract is used to for with each other they're trying to use their intuition here but they could be keeping secrets but I'm not feeling that they might think you're keeping secrets um this needs to be balanced, the contract between you two. It needs to be balanced, your soulmates. You both got to use your intuition here because a tower's going to fall. A tower's going to come crashing down very soon if you don't do something about this. <sighs> dear, dear, dear. Three appendix. You've got to work together. You've got to work together on this. Because, yeah, it's all about work, this work contract. But what, you're going to let work bring the tower down? So there's got to be a choice made here. Move forwards with stability. But there's confusion. 
so yeah, maybe. That's Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Um, there's confusion about moving forward with stability here. A choice needs to be made. Regarding this work. Do you want to work on the relationship or is money more important to you, Sagittarius? I mean, you need to, um, well, you need to heal things with this person. And be strong. But, you know, find the courage. Yeah, find that courage to tell them. That, you know, you do want this. You're going to have to try, you're going to have to heal this. You are their wish fulfillment, but they can't control that beast forever. Like, you know, something swell. And we got temperance and the five of wands. They're really trying to be patient here, but it's going to start, like, they're going to get this inner conflict soon. They're going to start start a fight soon. Patience is going to go one way and conflict is going to go the other. Like, oh, Sagittarius, this person really cares about you. They really want your, want this love, victory of love with you. But whatever this work thing is, it's getting in the way. They want to heal things with you. But they need more information about how you feel. They need to know if you want them to wait for them. If you, you know, you need to communicate with them, Sagi. I'm going to call you Sagi. <laughs> I know, you get your name shortened all the time. All right. Tell me about all tied up, this love energy coming towards Sagittarius. Is this all tied up? Seven of Pentacles. Again, pentacles. So, I'm getting they feel you're all tied up in looking at your investments, looking at your money, trying to grow a money tree. <sighs> Princess of Wands, Page of... Oh, sorry, Princess of Swords, Page of Swords... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But, um, yeah, and they're just watching you be all tied up in your work. But they want some clarity here. Are you want? Do you want to invest in them? Because they see the victory is love. Do you feel that you need to, like, I mean, obviously, well, they, they feel like they're single, but are they doing more, doing better financially than what you are? They want to heal this between you two. They want it to be right. They want to come in with that love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. With the Prince of Cups, Knight of Cups. But they're stuck in their head because how, how are you going to move forward here? They want to come in with passion too, but their logic tells them just wait. They wish they could heal this with you. But... Are they just cheating themselves by waiting? Waiting. Will they get to reunite with you? Or are they going to have to just hold back? Okay. Yeah. So the un bottoms of the deck are making more sense now. Because um, this codependency, they can't. you can't have them codependent on you. Waiting to see what's going to happen. Always hanging around, waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, yeah, because I'll end it if it becomes like that. There's an attachment to you, yes, of course, but it's it's um. They want this victory with you, but if you're ignoring them for work, 
how they're going to heal things with you. It's becoming an unhealthy attachment because they're not getting anything out of this because you're too focused on work or they're too focused on work, whoever it is, one of you is. I mean, they see your contract with work is more important than the contract with love. And if that's the case, then the love's going to fall. Oh, Sagittarius, what's going on? Message for you is... Love call, see? Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Pick up the phone. Send that message. Tell this person that you haven't forgotten about them. You're just busy with work and you miss them and you will see them soon. See? Express that message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Just send a message. I'm thinking of you. And just letting you know that I'm so busy with work. And I'm getting the job done. I'm all tied up at the moment but I'll call you as soon as I can. But just letting you know I'm thinking of you. Something like that. Like, send that love call, Sagi. Make that effort. If you want this awesome love, make that effort. Yeah, hold on. you got time to sit here and watch my video. <laughs> Pause it. Send that message now. <laughs> Self-indulgence. Yeah, indulge in some self-love here. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah, self-indulgence, indulge yourself. Pause, take a five-second break, ten-minute ten break, five-minute break. Send that message. Indulge me. <laughs> With some self-indulgence. Get your head out of that book. Get your head up out of that thing you're working on. You might just be listening to me. Yeah, because the clock is ticking. Need time takes time in time cycles, time to heal progress. Yeah, because you're wearing a mask to them at the moment. You're not showing your true feelings. You're hiding. Might be not be personifying or pretending and deluding and gaslighting, but you're hiding your feelings from this person. And time's ticking. They're not going to wait forever. So take that time. Take that time to reach out with just a message is fine. Just something to let them know that you haven't forgotten them. Because I think they're feeling like you've forgotten them. Take that time. Take that time. All right. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What else can you tell us about them? Three cards, please, at least. There we go. Probably saw that one, did you? Well, you're in for a surprise if you didn't. All right, coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Even just meet up in the coffee break, at your lunch break or something. They're going to savour every moment that they have with you. Meeting up, conversing. A quick conversation over a coffee. It'll f make them feel uplifted. They'll, you know, they want to know that at least there's a friendship. Is there still or what? Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. See, I'm not sure who's working here. And this could be them feeling stable. They're already state. They already feel stable as far as money goes. I think that's the thing. Um, they think what you've got together is enough. Maybe you want more, Sagittarius. I don't know. Hmm. Because otherwise, the Grim Reaper is coming in. The relationship's over. No second chances. Growth and grow and transform your life. Because I mean, you could lose this if you don't say something soon, Sagittarius. Stability will be gone. And that's right, the clock again. Need time takes time. In time cycles, time to heal progress. The clock's ticking on this. You're running out of time, Sagi. This could end. I've got death over here as well. They want to heal things, but... Because at the moment, it's not enough. 
They're feeling frustrated in this relationship. They're lacking the confidence that this will go anywhere. Self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. I'm not seeing that so much. I think they're just frustrated with the fact that it's, this is not enough for them. They need that love. Yes, you might be working for your commitment here, for your relationship, but you need to tell them that you still care. They could end up, you know, the seduction here. Flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Someone else could come in and take them away from you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation and engagement. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. They want this love with you. They're trying to have faith that the love is coming from you and that, that you know, one day you'll have this commitment that you are committed to each other, that there is a partnership here. But if you don't let them know, they're just going to feel like it was just a hookup. That it was just a seduction. Because what you've given them so far is not enough. I know you're focused on your work. And they know that. But you can't leave them hanging forever. No communication. And before long, they're gone. So you've got something really good here, but you just need to get your head out of your work and contact them. Spirit said, make the effort. You're tied up with your finances, but make that effort. Your message is, oh, I just want to be single. Do you just want to be single, Sagittarius? And you're afraid to reach out. Okay, you're a bit afraid to reach out to this person. I just want to be single. I think you just, it's, you, you're in a single-minded mode I'm getting. You just want to stay single and just get this work done. And once that's over, then, then you'll look at relationships, a relationship or a love. But, oh, Saggy, so you're going to miss out. God, it was hard for me to let you go. What's that peeking out here? So many songs remind me of you. See, you know, you're trying. It's really hard for you to not think about this, but because you're so you're trying to be so focused on your job at the moment, you don't have time to focus on this love right now, possibly. But wouldn't it be nice to know this person? Is going to be there when you finish what you're doing because they do want something with you. Just got to reach out. Just a, just a message. Let them know, look, I'm really sorry. I'm so busy with work at the moment. But I am thinking of you, so, you know. All right. Anyway. Love energy coming towards Sagittarius. What would they like to say to Sagittarius or let Sagittarius know? At least three cards, please. That's why it took so long to come out. All right. Oh, well, anyway. Could we start again, please? See, so this person wants to start again. They want things to be right between you two. I regret what I did to you. Okay. So, you know, they might have acted out because you're leaving them hanging here. And they're having withdrawals from you. They've got an attachment to you. So they might have lashed out a little bit here. I hope you can forgive me. Okay, so they regret what they did and they hope you can forgive them. Put those two together. I'm waiting for an apology. Ooh. I guess they're waiting for you to apologise for, you know. Wow. 
grand. I'm single and ready for love. So they're just letting you know that they, as far as they're concerned, they're single and ready for love. You've kept them hanging here because of work. So, you know. Hmm. Alright, bottom of the deck for them is I can't wait to see you again, T. I feel safe with you. I'm afraid you will reject me. So many songs remind me of you. See, they're listening to music and thinking of you too. They're afraid you're going to reject them because they haven't heard anything from you. You've been working too much. They feel safe with you when they're with you. They think it's awesome when you're together. And they can't wait to see you again, but... Sagittarius, what's going on? Are you going to risk losing this awesome love that all the only victory they want is all your love? And, pa and a bit of passion too. <laughs> Are you going to risk that? Um, yeah. Because they will let it end and they'll heal and they'll move on because this isn't enough for them at the moment. But they can't wait to see you. So don't make them wait too long, Saggy. Alright, well that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll put the thumb up. And all that good stuff. And we'll do another reading in a couple of days. And um, hopefully well, I'll get another one out before Halloween. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see what's going on then. So don't miss this opportunity, like Spirit was saying. Yeah, your finances are an issue at the moment. Like your work and career is basically blocking your love. You need to make that effort if you want awesome love. So, which you probably do because you're here watching this video of love coming towards you. Well, it's coming. It's there. You just got to do something about it to make sure it doesn't run away. All right. Well, all the best. Good luck. Take care and I'll catch you later.